But of course, you mentioned if there's an economic collapse, uh, let's let's take this now to the ban on cash. Of course, there's an article up today. Leading German Keynesian economist calls for cash ban. Tell us about that. Well, yeah, this is German Council of Economic Expert Peter Bowfinger. This came out of Spiegel. He said, quote, coins and bills are obsolete and only reduce the influence of central banks. So currently we've got this obsession uh, that technocratic interventionism, despite the fact that it's, it's proven utterly flawed in reviving economic growth, is now the answer, even though it's proven to have never worked in the first place. So a few days ago, we put out the article about Jim Leavis. He wrote an editorial out of The Telegraph, which got linked on Drudge which said, quote, forcing everyone to spend only by electronic means from an account held at a government-run bank would give the authorities far better tools to deal with recessions and economic booms. So it's, it's basically Keynesianism on steroids. It sounds like something out of Adolf Hitler's Minister of Finance. What's interesting about Levis is when I drew attention to his Twitter account after he put out this article, he not only locked his Twitter account he actually removed his own picture, his own face, <laughs> blacked out his own face from his personal Twitter account after he began to catch heat for this article. So wow. it seems as, as soon as they start to attract criticism, they run away like cowards because nobody agrees with them whatsoever. And, you know, we've had City's William Buter come out and say the same thing a few weeks before. We've talked about banks in the UK like HSBC interrogating people on the money they deposit and the money they take out when it's in um, amounts over £5,000. So there's a war on cash and basically central bankers are trying to position themselves for the next economic collapse, the, the bond apocalypse, which everybody says is coming to exploit this situation. And they don't want people having um, a, a significant amount of control over their own capital. So that's why they're pushing these kind of draconian measures. Absolutely. It's all about control. It's about central bank control. Now, they like to spin it as saying that it is something that is benign and beneficial. But of course, it isn't going to be benign and beneficial if they take away your freedom and your independence. And related to that, I mean, is, is what they're doing with the uh, auto, automotive uh, cars, the self-driving autonomous cars saying that they're going to take away. And, of course, we've had uh, uh, Elon Musk say it won't be that long before humans will be banned from driving cars. We've got the head of Uber saying that once they get self-driving taxis, then uh, individual car ownership will just go away. All of these are control points. Your movement, uh, your physical movement, and, of course, your movement of cash, your control of cash. And they want to know, Paul, everything about you, which is what we've just been talking about, mastering the human domain, looking at all of our metadata, looking at our social network, looking at where what we do, where we go, the cash that we have. It's all part of that dominating the human domain. And that's a, a very troubling uh, idea. But that certainly, I think, describes very well the broad policies of our government, not just abroad, but certainly directed here in the United States. Exactly. And they want you to know that they're collecting all your data, not really because most of the data is very useful, simply for the fact that if you know you're being watched, you self-police, you yes. change your behavior, you dissuade yourself from engaging in free speech, from criticizing authority. So just the very notion that you're under surveillance, uh, never mind what information they've got on you, is a control mechanism. And then... Going back to this quote, this um, column by Levis in The Telegraph, he said, quote, if notes and coins were abolished and the only way to hold money was through a government-controlled bank, there would be no escape. So he's that brazen in talking about how people will, their finances will be locked down in prison within this central banker-controlled system. You know, it's it's akin to having a bank account where you have to get government permission to take out your money. Yes, We're talking yes. about a tax on financial transactions too.